at this point. Uh, he's incredible, right? I mean, it starts in the gym, it starts in the off season. Um, he's the hardest worker and, and somebody uh, you can always follow up there. Uh, Gus told us before the game that you guys weren't any less motivated to beat this Vegas team even after winning the Stanley Cup and you still wanted to get back at them after what happened in 2023. I mean, how good does it feel to get that win again uh, yeah. tonight? Yeah, they'll always have that on us and it, it sucks, right? But uh, it's, it's extra motivation uh, when they come here and when we go there. So um, we saw it tonight, obviously. It's a good team win. What does it say about this group that you're continuously finding ways to pick up points despite being shorthanded and missing some key players? Uh, consistency, um, uh, a buy-in to the system up and down the lineup, uh, <laughs> incredible goaltending, um, all the little things that you'd expect from a team you know, down to the best players in the world. Yeah, uh, pretty good game from us. Uh, solid, uh, solid effort from the team, and I think everybody just chipped in and played hard and uh, got the victory. So that's good. What is it about your line that just continues to elevate? Yeah, I mean, I think we just try to keep it simple again and uh, just get pucks to the net like the the last goal, goal we scored and uh, just give, getting those rebounds and chances of those. Yeah, I think we uh, both both goalies played really well today. Uh, good teams playing against each other, and uh, a lot of chances both ends. And uh, I think we just kept our game plan and shoot a lot of pucks, and we got rebounds. I thought. What, 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 what did you see during that goal? There was, there was a couple of good chances there on the rebounds, and it looks like Rhino got the puck over to you there. Yeah, uh, just like we talked before the game, just getting pucks up top, they, they played pretty tight in the middle, so that wasn't the play. Uh, it's just pucks to the blue line and then shots, and then we got two rebounds off that, so that was really, really good. Obviously, your line's been going, but you yourself, you've had a little bit of a hot streak, getting the puck in the net a couple times. Just how's the confidence feeling for you right now? Yeah, I mean, it's always fun to score goals, and uh, uh, I think the whole team is gaining confidence, getting those victories, playing a little bit. Uh, not full lineup. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. I mean, we're missing uh, two huge parts of our lineup, and I mean, we're finding a way. Everyone uh, is looking really good. All the new guys are fitting in so nicely, and uh, it's so good to see uh, us battling with our, our two of our best forwards. So close to, to finding the back of the net, double digit shots on goal tonight. Just how close do you feel you are to being able to capitalize on that <laughs> uh, One will go in eventually, uh, whether I like it or not. But yeah, I mean, just keep on. The biggest thing is uh, the team win is winning games, and I'm trying to contribute the best I can. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's so nice. Like I said, uh, I get these points without uh, two of our key players in our lineup, and everyone's looking great. And uh, we're just trying to build our game every night, and that's what's going on. You mentioned the players that are missing, but what does it say about this group to not only be missing those two players, playing short, having who is play forward, and you're still stringing around um, point streaks now? Yeah, it's honestly amazing. I mean, everyone's stepping up their game. Uh, feels like, yeah, every night someone's making a big play or, I mean, like, I can, can't say enough about the new guys. Like, that new third line is amazing. I mean, everyone's been playing so good, uh, all the new defensemen, everyone. So it's it's awesome to see everyone's fitting in and gelling nicely with their group. Thanks, guys. Well, I like that game tonight an awful lot. That's 7-11 and 11 for us down a guy. And uh, so they're, they're a deep team. And they got a heavy back end. I, I thought well, that's as good a game as we've played this year. We had some turnovers, but you, you know what? You, I don't even care about them. I mean, Sergey made I had to make a couple of big saves off it, but the effort was just outstanding, and the compete was great. The bench was great. We ran some guys into again some big minutes, um, but you know the the things that you learn through adversity. We we had those two two important players, really three important players out of our, our top twelve. Those, those two big guys go down, and we and we go into Buffalo, and we don't like our game, and then haven't lost in regulation since. So that ability to kind of rally in a tough schedule, I'm really pleased with their with their work ethic and their. Uh, I think I, I like the bench though the best. They were wired and from the start, and I like their game. Uh, both players on that top pairing made some pretty big saves with Aaron Ekblad saving a goal yeah. early in the uh, in the game there at Gus Dog Forsling yeah. with the overtime winner. I mean, what do you get to say? Well, those, those all, just on minutes alone, the, the, the amount of time that uh, those guys played, 
and they've been doing that for seven games, right? They've got big minutes on them, and um, just I think you're looking at that veteran experience. Both, both guys, Gustav Forsling is, is an incredibly fit man, and Aaron Ekblad, his test numbers were off the charts this year relative to where he'd been. So they both put, after a pretty successful season, they both put an incredible amount of time that gave them a chance to be as good as they were tonight. So it wasn't just, you know, they were good for two and a half hours. You've got to be good for two or three years to, to get to that fitness level, that compete level. Uh, I'm happy for them. They, they earned it. That Lundell, Ryan Lyons, Ryan Lyons, yeah. you've gone back to them every chance you needed to, and this might be the best stretch of game that they've yeah. played together as a whole. Just people, what can you say about them? Yeah, the best iteration of that grouping, right? The best. But they're, now they're... Even so, Anton had a couple turnovers he wouldn't like, and still found a way to play a complete game. I mean, he, he um, they're men, right? They, they, you back when they were playing together two years ago, it was kind of Anton's second year in the league, and Lucy's first year off the bottom, bottom line, and and they've learned so fast, and they're so much stronger and better now that that can be a number one line. That's. Uh, they went head to head with the Jack Eichel line, and he's got 10 points coming into the game. That's a dominant offensive line, and those guys were so good tonight. It just might be the best defensive line in hockey right now, too. Well, they were sneaky there a couple of years ago in the playoffs. We'd get up on a team, and and on the road, they'd match their best players against that line, and that was kind of thank you. You know, I mean, that was that that was fine with us. We were good with that, and that's two years ago. So the growth and. We will say Lundell and Luce Ryan, and especially Sam Reinhardt's been an incredible pro for a very long time. But we need that because you're going to have what we faced last year, and that's the adversity. Sam Bennett breaks his finger and he misses five playoff games, and that can be your season when you lose a, an important player like that. But Lundell and Luce Ryan come together, and uh, now they're a dominant line as well. Was this the best that you think the power plays looked this year when yeah. you considered both of the units? Scored a real big goal for us last night, but they were fast tonight. Um, I'm not worried about the power play. It was critical tonight, but I'm not worried about it early in the year. Matter of fact, you don't want your power play winning your games as the driving force. You fool yourself about your five-on-five -five game, but our penalty kill has been real strong. Um, you, you know, our analytics five-on-five -five aren't great, nor should they be. If you take a quarter of your payroll out, you're not going to look the same. But we needed that speed tonight. Real credit to those guys. They moved it fast. Sergey Bobrovsky with another impactful game. Um, yeah. How would you describe the calming presence that he is at times? Well, he's got a great sense of where we're at. We needed, you know, we needed three or four spectacular saves from him tonight, and then we were pretty good after that, and he delivered that. He'd be another one in that Forsling Ekblad group that had put so much time into his conditioning and his preparation that he can play big minutes or play against big shooters. All right, happy Halloween, Thanks, everybody. Good. Thanks.